Salesforce Guru channel. Today we will discuss one of the important topic in the Salesforce. What is the difference between master detail and lookup relation? This is a, in most of the interviews you will get a question on this one because this is very important concept. So today we will going to discuss what is the master detail, detail relationship and versus lookup relation with a real time example. So before uh, we, we are going to do uh, master detail versus lookup in the Salesforce arc we will discuss what, is, what are the differences in theoretical so if you provide uh, this master detail and lookup relations are we are going to give between two objects for, for example you have two objects so you are going to establish a relation so in master detail relation if you are having this relation you need to provide value for that one it's a not optional one it's a mandatory one without uh, you are providing value we cannot able to save it look up it's an optional Either if you provide the value it's going to store uh, in the related object if you are not going to provide also you can able to save it and uh, in master detail relation by default relationship cannot be changed once you provide the uh, master detail relationship between two objects we cannot able to change it but uh, in lookup relation you can able to change it and uh, when it comes to master detail relation so if you have object uh, relation between two objects right if you delete uh, parent record so the child records also will going to delete automatically but this is not the same case in the lookup so if you delete in the lookup relation if you delete the parent records the child records not going to delete and uh, parent records cannot be removed from the page layout in the master detail uh, in lookup you can able to do it and uh, in master detail relationship uh, so the whatever the profile uh, what are the permissions you are given on parent object it will inherit to the child object so that means same uh, permissions and uh, these things getting applied on the child but in lookup relationship the security will not going to inherit that means the parent object uh, uh, profile and uh, these things are not going to apply on the child object so we are going to create uh, so uh, we will going to first we will going to create the master detail relationship so what i will do i will create a new object custom object employee object name is employee plural is uh, employees and uh, just to uh, save it so I'm going to field and relationships. So I have a name. So I'm going to create one more field called salary. So salary is a currency, right? So I'm going to select the currency. Salary. Next. Next. Save it. So apart from this, I'm going to create a master uh, master uh, child relationship. If you go here, uh, you have a lookup relationship as well as the master de master detail relationship. If you here itself, it is provided the description. What it given create a special type of parent child relationship. Uh, this object and other object. That means one is a child object, another one is a pa parent object. So the relationship uh, field is required on all the detail record. The ownership and sharing detail are record determined by the master record. That means the permissions. And uh, when a user delete the master record, detail records are going to delete. Uh, you can create a roll up summary fields on the master record to summarize the detail records. So that means master detail. For example, you have um, uh, you have uh, like a quote and quote lines. For example. So these quote lines have total, right? So you can this uh, create a roll-up summary field. So you have suppose uh, ten line line items. This total amount you can able to reflect on the quote. So this is a description. So I am going to select master detail relationship. Click on next. So here you have to give uh, on which object you want to establish an employee, and uh, I am going to use existing uh, standard objects that is called account. next next save it so it's done so now what i'm going to do i will go to 
this uh, employee record i will create a new record so i will give 123 as a employee number salary is 30000 if you see here this account is a master detail relationship if i don't provide any value if i try to save it it is showing it's required so without providing value in master detail you cannot able to save it so i'm going to create a new account since i don't have any accounts So I save. So if you see, I got two pop-ups. So um, so account also got created. If I go to accounts, if I refresh, so I, account also got created. And if I go to a related list, see I can see this account. Uh, in related list I can able to see the employee also now if I delete So uh, actually I need to add it to the tab, this object, custom tab, my object is employee, next I need to save it, click on next. So I add it to the tape. So if I go to employees uh, now, so here I have my employee record, right? What if I delete this one? So I have one contact. Uh, so there is a master detail relationship. So if I delete this record, So I'll go to now accounts tab. So nothing happened because uh, this is I'm deleting a chill record. So same thing I will do again. I'm going to select the same account save it so now I have the relationship right what if I delete this account this is a master record if I delete this master record so account got deleted if I refresh employee data so see this chill record also automatically get deleted so this is the master detail relationship so lookup relationship what i will do i will create one more object department departments so here in the field and relationship i'm going to create new one this time i'm going to select the lookup relationship click on next and uh, here i'm going to select employee
see I created lookup relationship so now what I'm going to do I'm going to add this uh, department also to the tab So this I already added to the tab. If I refresh this one, I should see the department also. So I have a department also. So now I'm going to create again one more employee. One minute. The department I am going to create one two three I will not provide employee so if I without providing uh, this uh, lookup relationship also I can able to save it so what I will do in next step I will give a value I will edit it so I will select new employee So one two three. Select uh, some existing account or create a new account. Save it. So I created look uh, with the lookup uh, field. I will save it. So now what if I delete this record I'm going to delete this record so record got deleted if I go to employees and if I refresh so the child record didn't get deleted because of the lookup relationship so this is a, what you need to understand so master detail relationship is tightly bind but whereas a lookup relation is not tightly bound so that means if you re uh, delete the master records the child records also will get deleted but whereas in the lookup uh, relationship if you delete the master records child records will not going to delete so this is a major difference and one more difference the security security will inherit from the parent to child in case of master detail uh, relationship whereas lookup relationship the security will not inherit from the parent to child and you can able to create roll up fields on the master detail relationship that means the line items if you have total some total you can create roll up summary field. that means some some uh, some of these uh, amounts in the line item to the master record so this is the difference between master detail relationship versus lookup relationship thank you guys